What's going on, people? Quorum, New York. We're here. Jackie's Jamaican Cafe, my mom's little restaurant. Don't mind the crackheads and shit. That's just part of the day. Let's roll. We're gonna show y'all what bodybuilders eat at restaurants, and not really bodybuilders, but me, because um, I'm a little different. But um, we gonna enjoy some food here. Stay tuned, we about to show y'all. This is my older little bum ass cousin, DK. He used to be a tyrant to me when I was a kid, but he don't want no smoke these days though. Ask him, ask him, ask him. See, he trying to tell me I can still get it. See, shit crazy. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Very welcome. Back up for a second. We got show. We, got, we trying to show him what they got. What we got here? Oh, you know what, DK? You tell him what we got. Uh, peace, love, and soul, folks. Welcome to Jackie's. I'm that brother they call DK. We got curry goat. We got oxtail. That's the big headline. Everybody loves everything, but they go crazy for this oxtail here. Stew chicken, curry chicken, four cheese mac, jerk chicken, aki and saltfish, jerk pork, all that good stuff. The entrees come with cabbage and plantain. Come down anytime. You got an empty stomach, and we'll take care of you. So your mom makes all the food, huh? My mom cooks everything. She right here. Let's go talk to the chef. Chef, say what up. What's up, guys? Just come on down to Jackie's Jamaican Cafe in Quorum. You see how big this boy is? He live on that food. Yo, look, right? I'm gonna keep it 100. The mac and cheese is the winner over here. Even my little kids, they come here, they don't want to eat nothing else. They just want mac and cheese. Yeah, it's a Jamaican cuisine restaurant. I'm 100% Jamaican. My mom and my dad are fresh off the boat. My mom been here for forever, but if you hear her talk, you would think she came off the boat yesterday. What up, Brookie? What are you doing? I'm at, I'm at Grandma Jackie's restaurant. No, I'm not. Look, you want to see Grandma? Look, she right over here. I'm going to get the rice and peas and the oxtail. What's oxtail like? Let me get the chef. Chef! Well, the oxtail is the best thing in the store. Everybody want a lady order curry shrimp dress now, and she want oxtail gravy. It's ridiculous <laughs> in the store. You can't make enough of that oxtail. What are some of the main things that Jamaican cuisine has that separates it? It's ackee and swordfish is our national dish. Curry goat is one of our main thing, and the oxtail stuff. Spicy. That's what. The, yeah. That's what like the the whole thing is around it. It's Natural spicy. herbs. Natural herbs. You heard? We opened during coronavirus in like March, April, I think February, March, and um, right when COVID hit, we thought we were gonna take an L from it. But yo, honestly, the business did good. So COVID actually, I think COVID actually helped us out because. It was um, mostly takeout and delivery. So I think during COVID is the reason why it actually took off as good as it did. What made you want to open a restaurant? I had no idea. My punk ass little sister talked to any of this shit. Yeah. And we've been begging her for like 30 years. Like, <laughs> look, look, we've been trying to get open a restaurant, but my punk ass little sister talked into this. She part owner, but where the hell my sister at? We don't know. <laughs> DK, hook me up, I'm gonna get a medium. I need the rice, I need the oxtail, and I'll hook me up with some of them plantains too. Yo, look. Yo, they treated me like I'm a regular customer. They gave me like two pieces of oxtail. Yo, what's up with this, man? I thought I'd die, y'all like. Yo, why y'all did me like a custy, cuz? Yo, look. I want that footage to be captured. Yo, you go to any Jamaican restaurant, they be they be mad stingy with the ox sales. They did me like I'm a regular ass customer. Like, a ton of food. No, it's a ton of food, it's not a ton of ox sale. Oh, I see. They gave me a whole, I got a whole thing of rice and two pieces of ox sale on the side. See how they do me in here? Yo, you wanna know what's up? My moms did me like that last time, too. My mom, yo, I got home and I took it to go. I got home, I had to call her like, yo, you know you did my plate dirty like I was a custy? Whatever though, that's a whole nother story, y'all. This shit my mom be talking about how 
Yo, they only sell large oxtails now because everybody be trying to order the small and then they be bitching that they only got two pieces of oxtail. This shit is $11.99 a pound. Right, Ma? $11.99 a pound, right? $11.99 a pound, right? $11.99 a pound. And motherfuckers be over here acting like they gonna order a large for $4 and get 10 pieces. The sodium's through the roof, and this is high in fat. The oxtail's high in fat, so it's just, it's just not conducive to doing a prep. Thanks for coming down, brother. We appreciate the love and support. Wait, hold on, I got a phone call. Hello? Yeah, he's right here. Yo, it's 1998 DK, man. He said he wants his muscles back. <laughs> he wants his muscles back, man. <laughs> nah, he don't want to talk to you. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, though, yo. My cousin used to have hella muscles, yo. Hella. And oh, look, for real? Yo, look. Longwood High School is a big high school out here, right? Yo, this motherfucker still has the record for the triple jump and track. Nobody. Right. And look, he had the triple jump and long jump. Someone beat his long jump, but the coach told him straight up no one will ever beat his triple jump, ever. But yeah, Andre Ferguson. Y'all got my meal at Jackie's. I'm about to finish eating it. Y'all about to check out. Yo, man, hit the like, hit the subscribe button. I think that's it. See y'all later, man. He still wants more oxtail. Yeah. He's gonna take all the oxtail for the sale today. Yeah.